In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, a new route to the Spice Islands he hoped to explore. But it was the journey itself that became a big chore. Hey, Renaissance men, you've got visitors! Mamma mia! For such a little boy, you should got a big voice. And now, an eyewitness to history news brief from the Renaissance in Europe. Renaissance man! He's a Renaissance man! He studies everything, every subject he can. He's a renaissance man, renaissance man. Hi-oh! Totally excuse us, Captain Dude, but it's time for us to clean out your quarters. Yeah. And when we're finished, we'll clean out your dimes and nickels. Ho, ho, yes now. No, to self. Never again hire anyone from Cabin Crews R Us. They were always discovering new places. There was Christopher Columbus. I found the new world. In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. And to commemorate his historic journey, each year we celebrate Columbus Day with big parades and shamrocks and leprechauns and people wearing green clothes. That's St. Patrick's Day. How are you gonna save her? I can't take it anymore. How do I get away from these kids? Hey, dude! What? If you want to use the skis, wait your turn! I gotta rent it for another half hour! They're everywhere! Whoa! By any number of ways, through science, I could create the device of a lamb's bladder filled with air, so they point and walk across the water. Vasco Nunez de Balboa! I found... The Pacific Ocean. Hernan Cortez, a Spanish explorer, voted most likely to mislead. Yeah, good for us, man. Francisco Pizarro. I found the biggest landmass on the planet. Huh? That Pizarro was always a smart aleck. People such as Juan Ponce de Leon, who explored Florida for Spain in 1513. Hernan Cortez, the Spanish explorer and founder of Mexico City in 1521. Also in 1503, Leonardo da Vinci painted a portrait of an Italian lady, Mona Lisa. Okay, Mona, smile. Welcome to America! Oh, Flavio. Yes? Could you stand right there, please? I'm a happy girl. Renaissance man, he's a renaissance man. He studies everything, every subject he can. He's a renaissance man, renaissance man. Go! God, I didn't even know it was missing. <laughs> For God's be painted by Edmund Layton. I say good evening to you, chaps. I'm Edmund Layton, and I'm the British painter who painted God's speed in 1900. Although remaining of my own, on the show called Hysteria, I have my son, Arthur Layton. Welcome home, Mr. Arthur Layton. Call me Barney. My good friends, loyal citizens. I hold on to this portrait of Godspeed that woman bids farewell to the brave knights who go to the war. What is the first thing you want to say to all of us? See it, see it, see it. I see. No, I see it. I see. It. It. Right. That'll be it all. So, on the other portraits of Edmund Layton, I have accomplished the vanquished. When the brave knight out of his jousting tournament 
You saw what you saw for the very first time. And now I see it was the just a tournament that lives in London, England. No, we knew it wasn't Greenland, so we turned around and sailed back across the water. Don't say it! Don't uh -huh. <laughs> got to Greenland, we told Leif Erikson the news about North America. All right, now we're getting somewhere. And for the record, do you renounce the party? Yes! America also sent bread, something that the French people can treasure forever! A true French hero! Okay, you had me worried there for a minute, son. I hope you will consider anything about Ralph of Cornwall captured Joan of Arc after the siege of Orleans in France. Don't say it! Don't show! Oh. 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 Ew! Double A warlord named Leofric controlled much of central England. Leofric imposed a crippling income tax on the people of Coventry, which his wife bitterly opposed. Gosh be friends! Bye bye! He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe's there. G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. But one day, a great evil came upon the land. Evil! Evil! Yo, Toast, have you seen Big Fat Baby? Negatory. And there's no wreckage. Lucky Bob, have you seen Big Fat Baby? Yes, now. Where? In my mashed potatoes. Lucky Bob definitely needs a vacay. Hey, Big Fat Baby! Where are you? Fear not. We shall calm the beast by singing. Camelot. King Arthur sent all his knights to slay the dragon. Not just the evil, but just the sheep and fart. He will never be able to kill anyone by sleeping them for the rest in the hospital. He's been dreaming of taking over the world ever since he was in his mother's womb. I want my mommy to... You could say I'm a sacred symbol, an icon, if you will, which is a beautiful thing. I mean, there's the paintings of me, the statues of me, symbolism, if you know what I'm saying. Puff a little smoke, a little fire, and the fans worship at my feet. Meet Sigmund Ford. Because of him, the castle of the Camelot will be the Dragon Zone. Oh, wow! Hey, ho! Who ordered the flambe? We're home! Did you call for the bravest, most daring knight in all the land? Oh, yes! Well, too bad. You got us. What a silly mix-up. It's all right. It's okay. Don't worry, Pop. While you've been in the hospital, I kept working on the monument. I've got a million ideas! Let's see. How about this one? Me too. The best way to protect your land is with a totally dense castle. Rock solid! Please. You must help me! All right, but if you kiss me, you're slaying your own dragon. Oh, thank you! <laughs> you do now? Quick, dude, give me a fan! Check! Oh, Sir Toastawan, you're the dreamiest! Now, 
Dude, the other kind of fan. Double check! The dragon has to be stopped. We must attack. And now, Dr. Yamamoto will speak. You may begin. This dragon is of great scientific value. It must be studied. Come, siblings. We have a... You know what? To slay. The screaming in the ear? What is it? <gasps> what is that? What you ask for? That's your great mom! Already? Check it out, coach! <gasps> oh, you mashugan and nuts! It's going straight up! So long! The beats! And get a grip! There! Now you can know which way front. Hold on to your hooves. Thank, thank, thank. You, 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 for saving my life, Peter, Paul, 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 Ruben. <laughs> Not <a> frog. No. <laughs> Hysterical, Pinky. Short. <laughs> Worked on this thing. Aha. I know what the problem is. It's not your swinging, it's your landings. <laughs> Them I can fix. <laughs> swinging from the end of his parachute? You're swinging! Mars? But why? We were trying to destroy Camelot in yet another attempt to take over the world. Come, Pinky. Back to the drawing board. I knight thee, Sir Yaxalot, Sir Waxalot, and Lady Doxalot. They have slain the dragon! Also, I knight of the Sir Toastalot and Sir Loudalot for saving our Camelot! Well, looks like this people knows that the Shipment Farn will never escape in the Dragon Zone. I will destroy all of you and the harmonious balance of the universe! Why? <laughs> 